Hello. This video will make you aware of state and local tobacco laws, inform you of your responsibilities as a retailer, and help you to comply with the law as you sell tobacco products to customers of any age. This video has captioning in Spanish, Korean, and Chinese. Please click closed captioning to access the captions. The tobacco companies are masters at marketing and they are targeting children. The Surgeon General reports that 88% of smokers began as children. In Howard County, over half the students in 12th grade have tried tobacco at least once in their lives, according to the Howard County Health Surveys. Tobacco companies are depending upon retailers to sell their products to minors. Federal, state, and local laws prohibit the sale of any tobacco product to anyone under the age of 18 and require all retailers to check photo identification prior to the sale of tobacco products to anyone who appears to be younger than 27. The state of Maryland and Howard County also have laws prohibiting the sale of tobacco products to minors. Violations of these laws are criminal and civil offenses with fines. Currently, federal fines range from $250 to $11,000. State fines are up to $3,000. And Howard County fines range from $250 to $1,000 for each offense. Additionally, in Howard County, both the store owner and sales clerk get fined for these tobacco law violations. The state of Maryland can also permanently take away your state license to sell tobacco products if you have three or more illegal sales to minors in a 12-month period. Unfortunately, minors in Maryland are buying tobacco products too easily. In 2013, the federal government found that 21% of tobacco retailers in Maryland sold tobacco products to underage customers, including 20% of Howard County tobacco retailers. In 2014, Maryland's tobacco retail violation rates increased to 31% and Howard County's increased to 28% as well. So, the state of Maryland was fined over $4 million for these violations. Now Maryland is spending this money on additional enforcement in stores selling tobacco across the state. This means more undercover young people will be visiting your retail outlets to buy tobacco with an enforcement officer supervising them. This could lead to more violations, more fines for violations, and more retailers potentially losing their state license to sell any tobacco product. Or, we hope retailers will follow the law and help their communities to prevent the sale of tobacco to minors. We are depending upon your active support to solve this growing problem. How do you follow the law? The rules are simple. First, under federal, state, and local law, it is illegal to sell these tobacco products to anyone under the age of 18. No exceptions. Second, you are required to check the photo ID of all customers under the age of 27 to confirm that they are old enough to buy these tobacco products. What if they have no ID? No ID, then no sale. What kind of ID is acceptable? It must have the name, birth date, and photo of the person. If they do have acceptable ID, then check the customer's age. Check that the appearance of the customer matches the photo on the ID and refuse the sale if the customer is younger than 18. Let's watch a sales transaction. I'd like a pack of reds, please. Sure, can I see your ID? I'm sorry, you're under the age of 18. I can't sell you a pack of cigarettes. Come on, man. I'll be 18 in a couple of weeks. Just let me have them this time. If I sell you these cigarettes, I could get fined and I could lose my job. Can I get you something else? Forget it. That was simple. 
The ID showed they were underage. Your store may have tools to help you check age, like software on the cash register that tells you the age when you enter the birth date, or a special calendar that tells you that customers born before this date can buy tobacco products. Remember, in Maryland, state-issued photo IDs for people under 21 are vertical rather than horizontal, so be extra careful when you see a vertical ID. Here is a slightly more complicated situation. Some of your customers may look older than 18, but you must still check ID if they are under 27. If you are not sure if they are under 27, then ask for their ID. There is no way around the ID requirement. Hi, can I get a cherry flavored cigar, please? Sure, but I'm going to need to see some ID first. Um, well, I forgot my ID, but I buy here all the time. Sorry, I can't sell cigarettes without seeing a valid ID. The federal law says that I have to ask for ID from anyone who looks under 27. Yeah, but if I'm over 18, you have to sell them to me, right? Only if you show me a valid ID. Sorry. I can't sell any tobacco products without seeing a valid ID. I could lose my job. All right. Sorry, man. Have a good one. The retailer did the right thing by denying the sale. Even if someone is 22, if they have no ID, then they cannot buy tobacco. Checking ID for anyone under 27 is the law, regardless of Excuse how me, well you know sir, the customer. Do you think you'd go inside and buy me more often now, young people may ask someone older to buy tobacco for them. Thank you. Here's a short video to show you what to do. Can I get a lottery ticket and a pack of reds? Sir, the teen outside tried to buy the same brand of cigarettes. I saw you talking to her. Are you trying to buy them for her? Uh, no, just... Our uh, store policy states that if I think you are trying to buy tobacco for someone under the age of 18, and I don't have to sell them to you. Here's your lottery ticket. Thanks. Sorry about that. The person who tried to buy tobacco was not breaking the law, but the retailer was if they knew it was going to someone underage. Remember, in Howard County, both the sales clerk and the store owner or manager get fined for tobacco law violations. If you are an employee, ask your supervisor about your store's policy for politely and professionally refusing a tobacco sale. Be sure you know what you're supposed to do in each situation to obey the law and stay safe yourself. Ask for your supervisor's help if a customer becomes uncooperative. Howard County wants all tobacco retailers to know the state and county tobacco laws and see the importance in following them. The state of Maryland would like every retailer to remember that for every tobacco customer, check ID. Don't sell without valid ID. Don't sell to any customer buying for a minor. Don't sell any tobacco products to minors. It's illegal. Now you're familiar with the laws, have ideas on how to handle underage customers, and know your store can be checked at any time. You can avoid those heavy fines if you simply obey the tobacco laws. More importantly, you'll be helping our children to make better choices for their health. Thank you for being a responsible retailer and valued Howard County community partner.